me for shivering, but it is so cold and wind. Oh, I wonder how I'd cope in a really cold place. Somewhere like the Antarctic. Hey, I wonder, how do they keep warm in Antarctica, hmm? Um, coats and lots of um, jumpers, jumpers. You build an igloo by wearing lots of clothes. Zip jacket and zip patch. Oh, you keep warm by jackets. Put on three or four jumpers on. By taking warm clothes. Wearing those things that escalate with. Wear really, really thick clothing. By wearing um, warm Warmer clothes. Hey, some great ideas there. You do know where Antarctica is, don't you? Ah, well, let me show you. Cast your eyes up there. Antarctica is at the bottom of the world. It's south of New Zealand. And there is always ice and snow. And it is always very cold. How cold? Well... In that cold, cold room is just a taste of how cold it is in Antarctica. I'm going in for a look-see. But first of all, I need some special clothing. Hmm? I was thinking of something a little warmer, like a jacket. What I need is a fairy god person. Ow! Ta-da! There, that's much better. Right, I'm going in. Oh, you are so lucky that you don't have cold vision on your TV set. Because I can tell you one thing, it's freezing in here. Look at the temperature. It's minus five degrees. And remember, at zero degrees, water freezes and becomes ice. And we're five degrees below that. Mind you, that's not so bad. Antarctica is really cold. The average temperature at Scott Base is only minus 22 degrees. You said it. Now we can't get as cold as that here, but we can get close. This is a wind chill machine. Guess why? Because when you stand in its wind, you get really, really chilly. Wind chill is caused by convection. Convection is a way of moving heat. It moves your body heat away from your body really, really fast. Now move away from the wind chill machine. And wind chill is a big deal in Antarctica because Antarctica has serious wind. No, not that sort of wind. Antarctica has massive winds that blow off the icy cold continent so fast they'd break the speed limit. Now it might be minus five degrees in there, but out here it's much warmer and that is so much better. Because to be honest, our bodies just aren't built for surviving the cold of Antarctica. Our bodies work best when their temperature is a nice warm 37 degrees. If it gets too cold, your body loses too much heat and it just doesn't work properly. But it does have some ways of trying to keep warm. One way is with this stuff here. Yes, hair. The quickest way of losing body heat is through your head. So if you've got a nice mop top, that slows that process down. Oh, and another thing is this. Fat. That forms a nice layer of insulation underneath your skin. And insulation just keeps the heat in and doesn't let it through. Then there's shivering. It's your body's way of trying to warm up. It's saying, come on, let's get into action. Let's get moving. Let's turn that body heat up. Now let's face it. All the hair, fat and shivering in the world won't stop you from getting way too cold if you just want to stand out here in the middle of Antarctica. If you're going to do that, you really need help! Help! This sort of help. Seriously cold weather gear. And if you're going out for a walk in Antarctica, you've got to put all this gear on first. 
All this gear is for one person at one time. Now, I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, why not just go for one coat that covers me from top to toe? Much easier. Yes, but unfortunately, when you think about it, the trick is in the layering. If you can trap air between the layers of clothing, it helps to keep you warm by forming a layer of insulation. Right, let's try this lot on. I've got my first layer on already. So first up, it's that first layer of thermal underwear, which was plain of colour, but wait for it. Next up, it's this bright coloured thermal wear. Isn't that groovy? Groovy or not, it does the job as a layer of heat insulation, which is vital to keep out that chilly Antarctic weather. And of course, it'd be good to wear to any formal or informal cocktail party on the ice. But wait, there's more. The layered look is complemented by these purple overalls, with the New Zealand look being accented with this classic Kiwi Bush shirt, topped off with a sunshine yellow vest. Mm-mm, very now, don't you think? And finally, what's cool in the Antarctic is this blue anorak and pants. Now these really are the movers and shakers and complete the layer upon layer look for those cool people in the Antarctic. But wait, yes, there's more. There are accessories. Not just one pair of gloves, not two, not three, but four pairs of gloves to keep those hands toasty warm. Then there's the feet with boot liners and mucklucks which keep Jack Frost at bay while saying, don't mess with me. I tried to find out why they were called mucklucks, but I didn't have muck luck. <laughs> Hey, I'm ready to chill out. And another thing about this gear is it's not all waterproof. And that's because Antarctica is one of the driest places in the world. It gets about as much rainfall as the Sahara Desert. So all you need to worry about is the wind and the cold. And quite frankly, I think I've got that covered, don't you? Yeah. Ah, yes, this is more like it. It feels like a nice sunny day. Hey, it is a nice sunny day. And there's really only one problem with being outside in Antarctica. That's the air temperature being so cold and the wind chill that whips away your body heat in the wind. But that's easily fixed in the form of insulation. And you do that with layers of clothing with air trapped in between. That's to keep the heat in. And then you have a windproof layer on the outside and that's to keep the wind out. And then, ah, she'll be right. Maybe you've got some questions that you'd like answered. You can write to us at Susie's World, P.O. Box 34307, Birkenhead, Auckland. Or head to the website www.susie.co.nz. It might be minus five degrees, but hey, I'm going to have a doze here in the sun. You keep warm now. Ka kite. Gotta keep sun smart. This program was made with funding from New Zealand on air.